Alrighty, what is up guys? Here trying to do a really quick unboxing and construction video of this monster. Yeah. Well, because I'm going to try to keep this as quick as possible, uh, we are just going to get right into it. Starting off with cutting this tape real quick. There we go. Be very careful in using sharp objects. Well, I see you <laughs> not being careful with sharp objects. All right. Ah, this is a monstrous set. Got two layers. Stadium pieces, it shouldn't be too hard to take care of. And this, that. Oh, what? We got our launchers and other parts. Got our stickers in here. Alright, we're just gonna, yeah, like I said, we're just gonna jump right in. So sorry if I'm. Oh, this is actually some thick plastic. It's like hard plastic, wow. That's something they don't tell you in unbox in uh, video. Those other YouTubers, that's something they didn't tell you. Is like half of this thing is like hard plastic. All right, how do they get this? Apart? Oh, there we go. I suppose that's how. Just step right through there. All right, yeah, we're just coming right in. This goes there. Oh, you know it goes there. If I can get it on. This is also like a hard plastic. That's weird. Yeah, our switch strike battle tower. We're gonna get to the Beyblades next. Hang on. Ah. Is that an extra bit of plastic there? Uh, up, 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 get on there. There. There we go. That's the center section constructed. And we're gonna do, oh right, there's more to it. Our stickers, we're gonna put those on after. Instructions, we don't need instructions. We know how this thing is built. We're gonna open these up. Get this again. We need it. Actually, no we don't. We just like open it from the side. Which one is this? Which side is yellow? That's right, it was the two player side that was yellow. It's a rip cord. These have the old light launchers in them. It's like the Hasbro Proto Light or slash Light Launcher or whatever. Uh, what Beyblade parts are in this one? Looks like it is Valkyrie parts that are in this one. And it, as we know, this set comes with Strike Valkyrie. We're actually going to pull those out now. Ow. Yeah, so then we have Twin Noctimus, which is what I'm really excited for. Actually. Well, that and the stadium. It's, as you know, I've only had one first stadium. This layer. Oh, it's locked in. Yeah, there we go, just unlock it and then twist, clicks into place and that. All right, we're gonna leave it in upper mode for now. I think this is upper mode where it slopes up. You guys tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. All right, we need this, we're gonna need these. Oh, those are the little count dial counter things that go on here, okay. I really, why do I keep closing this? I need it. Be careful with knives and sharp objects, as I've said before. Also be careful with hot objects. That includes liquids. Quite painful. 
Okay, yeah, actually, yes, we do need the instructions. Oh, never mind. This is the, oh, what? Oh, no, never mind. I, for a second, I thought it was broken. <laughs> no, it's just this little bit here. thought it was broken. All right, so, yeah, sorry for rushing so much, but I am trying to get this done as quickly as I possibly can. All right, uh, we got that one on. That one on. There it goes. There goes our dial. Our little slider. There. Player one and player two. Probably gonna color those in so that it's more obvious. What it says. Uh, we're just gonna throw one of them on one side and the other one on the other side. Yeah. Tell me how this unboxing is for a rapid unboxing. Or tell me how this is for a rapid unboxing. Tell me what I did in the comments. I'm saying do a lot of things in the comments. Now, this strike Valtteri layer is interesting. It's the only one to have an alternate god chip. Besides alternate colors. One with a different god chip. It does. Oh, it doesn't lock in. Gosh dang it. That's the best part about it. Lock. The best part is it locking in, and it actually shows that on the box. It shows it locked in. That's not locked in. Oh well. It's still really cool looking, nonetheless. Now we're gonna open the other side. I don't care. I'm just gonna cut the tape. So I'm tired of this garbage. Alright, this will be the Noctimus parts. Yep, yeah, we got our nice dark blue jaggy actually. I was thinking it was black. Nope, there we got these. Got another one of these proto launchers, these trashy launchers. Yeah, this one's interesting because it goes to five, not three. Now we're gonna go with this half, which is the side that has the warnings. Gonna cut this open. Being careful not to cut ourselves. Oh, that was lucky. I think. I didn't see. Too busy not cutting my. I'm too busy trying to rush this as much as I possibly can without actually being too obscure. Without making it so you can't tell what's going on. Although I think I might have failed in doing that horribly. Just tell me if I failed or not. That uh, make going as fast as I can, but still not going so fast that you can't tell what's going on. Tell me how I did doing in that, or how I did in doing that. Let's attach things, or assemble things, then attach them, and then this looks like it clips onto everything. Yeah. Yeah, that just clips on everything. It's still interesting that this is hard plastic. Huh. I was thinking it was the same thin plastic like these were. Oh, dang it. Oh well, it's fine. Alrighty. Enough thing sidetracked. Uh, yeah, I just bought this today. I have a uh, $50 gift card to everywhere. Which is interesting. So, yeah. I don't, and don't ask where I got it because I got it as a gift. It was given to me as a gift. If we hear chunk, then that's just gonna be amazing. It'll make me feel better. So I'm not in the best mood right now. I'm thinking this will make me feel better, which it already is actually. I love assembling things. All right, there is our section completed. We're going to now attach this. This is the wrong side. There we go. No. There we go. I'm not sure. Oh, okay, okay. It's built to be taken off easily, but not so easily that it just comes apart. 
all over. Okay, that's neat. Get Beyblades after this. Okay, that's cool. Okay, yeah, we're gonna throw the stickers on. Oh yeah, that's cool. It actually tells you how to change modes with Noctimus. That's sweet. But I already know because I've seen the twin ne the act the original twin nemesis. I'm really excited for this too. Well, that's actually kind of a heavy layer. Dang. It's a very it has very balanced stats. This Beyblade. So you'd think it'd be more of a balanced stick, but anyway, let's sticker it up. Oh, the QR code. QR code alert. I don't know if that's in frame. Alright. And uh, there we go. I don't know how well you can see that. Yeah. Alright. Where? Majority of these go on. Hang on. Is there anything left in here? No. Anything attached to that? No. Nothing in here. Nothing in there. But air, of course. Uh, where do our stickers go? Oh, those are all stickers. Oh, it tells you. Hit. Well. Oh, of course. That's one series one two. All right. We're going to use the instructions for sticker placement. B. Doesn't really matter. So this is the first stadium where you actually put stickers on. For Hasbro. Interesting. And there are no in yeah, there are no internal stickers. Okay. Now we're gonna flip this thing around. We're just gonna leave that sticker on for the moment. Throw on the player two stickers. And eventually we're gonna see if we can get our bro. Well, if I, I'm gonna see if I can get my bro to Beyblade again. That's probably not gonna work. He's lame. Why am I feeling better about this? Uh, where does that go? I wonder. Yeah, this is really cool though. This whole thing. This thing is. This thing is big. This is big too. A. What is A? Ah. That's what A is. I'm not sure that's where that goes, but I'm just going to go with it. Nope, it's not. I got these right. That's, I didn't get that one right. That one's off a little bit. The stickers are also not the size they're shown. Where it says they are. Oh man, imagine this thing, but in the rain. While it's raining, that would be sick. You get a little layer of water and then... That's not a very shallow bowl down in this middle area. Uh, you know what? We're gonna try to pull this off. Come on. 
Dang it, I did it too well. I put the sticker on too well. There we go. There we go. Get it. Go, 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 go. We're going to do a speed unbox. Or speed. Oh, wait. How fast do I unbox everything? Besides, or take everything out of the box. That's technically the actual unboxing. Part of the video. This is just me doing things. So this is the process of putting on stickers. Kind of boring, I know. But I'm going to include it because why not? I need content. Yeah. yeah. Tell me how you guys like this original content. And I know that I'm a bit late to the party. Or tardy to the party for Switch Strike Battle Tower. I know. Don't bring it up too much. Or don't nail me in the comments for it because I know I'm late to, I'm tardy to the party. Oh. That's where those go. This side. Just slap it right onto the side. Oh, it's this side it has to go on. Okay. Not actually slapping it on. Replacing it on gently. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. Why did that make it look so much cooler? That one sticker. What in the world is this? Also, Switch Strike and Slingshock have the same letter, first letters as those words. It's SS for both. Seriously. <gasps> no! It damaged the sticker. Crap. I had to peel it off and move it. Crap. Uh, we'll use this. There we go. It's all good. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, Hero Marita. I wonder what inspired Beyblade Burst. Uh, guess we'd have to ask him to find out. Alright. These. Wait. Oh. E. D. Where does E go? It goes there. This is where E goes. Whoop. I know uh, Zanky over there has got his own, or their own, his Zanky's, the channel, not the YouTube. Freaking thing, apparently. Oh, what is this? What is this? There's next to be a sticker attached to this. What? What the heck? Next to this. <laughs> yeah. Where? You know. Yo. We're gonna put that on. We're gonna put this extra little bit on somewhere. Hmm, these stickers aren't quite the right size. Yeah, I remember uh, the uh, Destroyer Dome battle set. Who remembers that? Still have it, actually. Most of it. Yeah. yeah say in the, or tell me in the comments. I, I know I'm asking a lot for you guys, of you guys in the comments. But, uh, what do you guys... Who... Just say if you remember the, uh... Destroyer Dome battle set from Metal Fight. Uh, what are we doing with this? We're going to throw it here now. So, add some. No. This thing's gonna be a nightmare when you end up cleaning it. Oi. 
Yep, we're going to do. We're going to show it. Right. And. No. Uh, right. Right. I'm trying to line it up with these. There we go. We're going to put it right there. Right, right there. That. That doesn't normally go there. Oh man, we got the other one already, boys and girls, fellow bladers, being fellow entities. Also, tell me what you guys like more, the Beyblade or mine, which content you like more. The Beyblade content or the Minecraft content? And I don't want to see much content away. Yeah, you know what? For you. I'm, I'm not even going to... not even going to say it because I know it. I'm going to get it. I am just like all scatterbrained right now. I'm not, I, I wasn't very happy a little bit ago, or not too long ago, I was like, I was like mad, and now I'm just like confusing myself. I don't even know where my train of thought is going at this point. Ah, get off the dog here. Yeah, I have a dog. I also have a frog. We also have a snake. Snake. Alright. H is one. Where is one at? I'm gonna say over here close to the one that actually says one. Okay, that's going to get covered partly. That's fine. It's going to have layers of stickers. It's going to have layered stickers. -ing. All right, that's kind of cool, actually. How do you guys like that? I kind of like it. That looks that that kind of looks cool. Neat. I done goofed. That's not where two goes. That's where four goes. No! Alright, we're gonna step nick that right there for the moment. I'm gonna carefully get the sticker. Oh! Oh wow! The perfect de stickering tool. A sharp ish knife. The perfect unstickering tool, if you can get under the stickers. Why? Why are the dog hairs stuck to everything? Yeah. I kind of feel like, uh... Noah from Left Burst. As you guys know, he's kind of talking fast a lot. At least he says. And apparently sometimes it's hard to keep up, but I've managed to keep up. Oh, this thing looks so cool! Let's go. Let's get right into the rest of it. Poke that. Could have ended badly. Don't do that. Ah, ah! It's the monster. 
release the demon at Twin Noctimus. You guys probably have the code already, but here it is. Sorry for bad lighting and a bad camera. Let me use my tablet. And Jaggy. It doesn't have three hit like it's supposed to, or three with the hit frame. But, this Beyblade. Oh, it's not bad. Not bad. Slope. The slopes aren't bad. I can't say locking. Jackie, or Jackie. Jaggy is pretty good. Uh, now we're going to get into this with the exclusive blue vortex. Actually, it's kind of a mint ish color vortex. That's kind of cool. Like a teal or mint kind of color vortex. It looks really cool, actually. I'm going to hang on to these instructions because why not? Their instructions and and this nice yellow, oh, this minty fresh yellow reboot that's not all broken in it or anything. Ah, uh, yes. Also, how to assemble Valtriac V3. Line up the frame with the largest wings. Put the tip on, oh yeah, by the way. QR code if you want it. Sorry, my hands are all shaky. I need a little bit more calcium. No, potassium. And then put it together. Oh, those are some decent slopes there. All right. We have Strike Valtriac and Twin Noctimus. Sick. We're going to use our nifty dual threat string launcher. Put the Beyblade on and launch it in. And launch in the other Beyblade. Both attack types. Wait, I actually need to keep the instructions too. Sorry, that wasn't in frame. Alright, so that was Twin Noctimus. Now with this, uh, if I remember right, a survivor finish while on the top level is two points. A burst finish is three points. Uh, it should say on here somewhere. Oh yeah, there we go. One point is the survivor finish on the lower level. So on the lower level, the points are scored as normal. However, uh, ring out finishes aren't accounted for. Even though they should be because they're still possible. Um, I mean loud now, actually. <laughs> it literally said, I just noticed that, but on here it actually says how to win. That's hilarious. Look at it literally says, how to win. That's actually funny. So two player mode. Uh, huh? oh. Anyway, two player mode. So it's like on this side. It's survivor finish on the low, the lower level is normal, as I said. They didn't account for ring out finishes, but on the top level, this one, in the middle, where my hand is, or where this Beyblade is now, um, where Twin Noctimus is. <laughs> it's fine. Alright, and brother, this is doing stuff. It's fine though. Alright, anyway, um, where this Twin Noctimus is, the sec, the top level, or the, you know, upper level, top level. A burst finish is three points instead of just two, like on, it is on the lower level. And a survivor finish is two points. So burst finish is three points, and a survivor finish is two points where Twin Noctimus is right now. On the lower level, it's as you would normally play. Four player mode. 
It's just as you'd normally play for both levels. Lower, or upper and lower. I actually want to see this. Um, you know what? We're going to get some quality first time seen on YouTube content. Oh, crap. We're going to use a turbo bay in this stadium. We're not going to have another Beyblade in the stadium with it, though, because it's Wonder Valtteri. Also, I got, uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five new Beyblades. So now I have 17. Yeah. Some quality first time seen ever on YouTube content. Yeah, and Wonder Valtriac is just bad, so... Actually, it might not be too bad in this stadium. And it's standing, like a boss. Alright, then we got Deep Canox. Let's see what happens. I'm curious. Exactly what you'd expect to happen. Let's throw in Twin Noctimus. And smash! Oh! Um, would that count as a ring out finish then, actually? I think that would count as a ring out finish. Because you can't get out of that. That's interesting. There aren't any parts missing. Oh, we're going to grab our cane ox though. Yeah, they were thinking, you oh, they're only going to get knocked off the sides. Like we expect them to. But nope! First thing that happened. Oh, hey. I didn't snap that in all the way. Oh, crap. Ah! This is really awkward. Ah. There we go. Snap that in. Snippy snap. Some snippy snappy action. I am. Oh wow, this is a long video. It's long. Oh, shit. No, it's not. This is actually one of my shorter videos. <laughs> All right. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna. Yo. Actually, though, this would be an amazing battle. If this wouldn't kill things. Was it disc? All right. Uh. I want to do something with this so it actually works how it's supposed to, but I don't want to mess it up. What is the weight distribution difference though? If I have regular Genesis Valtriac coming here, it's 
I mean, sure, it's just a little beat up, but they've had it for a while. Oh, my bro's playing Ferrari on PS4, which is new for us. Let's see what the, what the difference is. So that's the uh, starter Genesis Valtteri X, which has been used a bit. Not too exciting. Yeah, that's some reboot kicking in. But failing. Uh, also, the LED is off to so this your left, my right. They're probably really distracting. Now, this is Strike Valtry. This is brand new. It's definitely more aggressive. That's sick. All right, so this is more aggressive. It's also new. Battle them. Just two layers. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a ring out finish. Why don't they account for that? Huh? They don't account for a ring out finish. When that's like, what's happening? It does bother me a lot though. That this does not, this straight down tip does not actually work. As cool as it looks, it bothers me, it doesn't work. Oh man, this frick. It's actually kind of a greenish color now that I'm looking at it. That's cool. That's neat. I really like this Beyblade though. I like the mode changes. I love mode changes, that's just my favorite thing. Back in. You know what? We're gonna throw deep canox in there again. Anime battle. Not really. Flip. There you go. Dispose of it. I need to learn the control. Actually, oh, what would that be? Ring out or burst finish? I don't know. I think that would be a ring out finish. Kind of knocked it out of the play area. All right, we're gonna change up the modes. Moving these tabs on the inside of the layer. You're going to pull these tabs on the inside of the layer, right there and there. Pull those in. And then rotate this top ring. And change it to smash mode, I think, is what this one was. The other mode is upper mode, I believe. This one, I think, allows for Colossus Hammer. I forget what the other one was. All right, come here, Canox. So this will be interesting. And play right into Canox's layer. Oh. What is that? What the flip is that, Canox? Come on. What was that, my friend? You're a stamina type. You're supposed to chill in the center. Like a stamina type does. Come on, you Cleo. You, where, what you doing, man? Alright, Norman Drivers! Uh, Twin Noctimus, which does act, actually... I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm going to count that where it's not in the play area. I'm going to count those as uh, ring out finishes. I'm going to, so just for future reference. 
I am feeling better now, actually. Like, a, I'm in a better mood now. Happy. I'm happy that I... I'm, I'm feeling even better now that, I, that I'm in a better mood. I'm actually going to use my uh, new sword launcher. So you know what that other bay that I got was now. Oh, wait. I forgot. Wait, no. I counted the banana. I have the banana now. Maximum banana. Banana power. The banana is the best power. It also destroys ev Actually. Yo. Tell you know what? We're going to do that now. We're going to include many things in this. We're just going to include some stuff, and then we're going to actually do a full thing later on. We're going to see if these Beyblades are good against the banana. So I know this one is not great against the banana. Alright, we're going to be using my sword launcher. I know they use string launch, but... Well... So much for that. Okay, maybe we're not going to use the sword launcher. Forget that. We're going to use my dual threat launcher. Okay. We're going to do this then. Come on, Genesis Valtriac, or Strike Valtriac, let's go. It still makes me upset they didn't make Ultimate Reboot, reboot though. Oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Genesis Whip, Genesis Whip, Genesis Whip, Genesis Whip, let's go. Ah, Banana one. That's one point. Alright. Hey. So we'll tell you the banana is player two. Make use of these sliding dials. Also, can you guys even see this? Yeah, you can. Barely though. Still moving in frame. There we go. Oh. Yeah, sorry for the bad video while we have a bad camera on my tablet. Alright, so that's two points for the banana. Because it's a survivor finish on the top level. We're going to count ring out finishes as you normally would for this stadium. Add one point to it. So we we're going five. Come on, Valtteri. You got this. Alright, we're going to try that again. Get the banana in. Yeah, shout out to Left First for the meme. For the Beyblade meme. The, the Garuda being the banana. Ow. Oh, boy. Yeah, do not reach into the stadium. It is sharp. Alright, that's going to be a uh, ring out finish for the banana. Or for Garuda. Yeah, be careful when getting Beyblades out of the stadium. I actually apparently cut my finger. Ouch. Ow. I cut my finger right there. On this stadium, apparently. It hurts. And that's a win for the banana. Alright, Strike Bell Creek, not good against banana. We're going to keep that off to the side. Next we're going to go Noctimus, we're going to put it in upper mode first. I don't remember the special move for this mode. You guys tell me what it was in the comments. Just tell me what Norman's special move for upper mode was, where the slopes 
where it slopes up so it hits from below and lifts up. I think that was, please. Thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, it's go. Uh. Yeah, this Beyblade is wild. This is just a wild stadium, isn't it? Let me grab the banana. This stadium is wild. Dang. So we're gonna count that as a burst finish. So that makes three points for for Garuda. I'm stepping on the banana now. Wow, mom is taking a long time. I expected mom to be back from good things rough days and that. Anyway, this. Yeah, I expect to stop recording before now. Alright, now it's in smash mode. So it's hitting from above and pushing it down. And to a Noctimus didn't burst that time. Dang, that has this okay slope. It has some decent slopes. I have to do this in a different stadium. But that was a win for Garuda. So it's a survivor finish. Wow. Garuda is the the true destroyer. Forget Spryze and Requiem breaking things. Garuda is the true destroyer of Beyblades. It just owns everything and doesn't give a crap. It just doesn't care. It doesn't care what you think. It is the best Beyblade. It can outlast Drain Fafnir, weirdly enough. Anything I have, it can outlast it. I'm also probably going to use this layer a lot. I use this Beyblade a lot because it's really cool. We're gonna see what it's like on four player mode. There we go. Two. So survivor finish, that's two points on the top level. Wait, no, it's one point. This one goes to five as well. You know what? We're going to three here. Oh, crap. We're going to try this again. We're also going to have to try probably put something on these stickers. I almost grabbed to a knife. Not. Oh! Oh! Oh, what is this? That clean activation, though. Dang, that's just another point. It's a survivor finish. I know I'm doing it wrong. Don't, don't judge me. If you judge me, I judge you, and then I get mad at myself for judging you. Oh! Did you see that jump? It jumped over this and onto this side. That's sick. Ooh. 
I might use this reboot instead. If I use a reboot in a combo. I'm gonna use this one instead, because it's working beautifully. In any case, that's another point. Did I say I was going to three or five? I don't remember. We're just gonna go to five like it says. Oh, deck grind! I also like how the part of this is the hard, this is like a harder plastic than anything else. Oh boy! Knock it out, knock it out, knock it out, knock it out, knock it out. Come on. You got this, Valtteri. Come on. Come on. No. No. Uh, another survivor finish. Bring the score to four to nothing. Come on, Valtteri. We got to step up our game. We got to step up our game, man. Come on. Here's our finish. Oh. What is this? What is this? I found a new launch. Maybe. Hit your opponent in the center. From before they get to the center of the stadium and the top level. Survivor finish. That's five to nothing. A clean sweep. Wow. <sighs> We're gonna have to practice with this Beyblade. It's really aggressive and I love it. So we're gonna start with Smash Mode on here. On, on Noctimus. Our boy Noctimus. After we can launch properly, or once we can launch properly. in our other stadium. These Beyblades are kind of forgotten. I know Zanki did a video, there's, there's a video on the Zanki channel. Oh, wait a minute, was that a draw? I think that actually ended up being a draw. Okay. Smash mode is good against the, uh, or against Garuda, aka the banana. So that was a draw, I think. Wow. That's impressive. I didn't. Oh! Yeah, I know on Zengi Channel they used Garuda G3 for something, and Boltums did something. Or Bolt OMS, actually, not Boltums. Or Bolt OMS actually did something with Garuda as well. Ah. Oh. Garuda's. Player two again. We love our attack types here. All right, we're gonna switch our mode. Out. Uh, that's weird that it has two, but yeah, I guess Hasbro is lazy and didn't. Oh yeah, that's right. The faces, the little face things move, so you can change the modes. And it actually doesn't let you assemble it unless those are in. So you can't have a mod. Well, you could mod it. Not saying that you should destroy this ex uh, set exclusive layer. It was only released so many times. So many things. Right, anyways, any case, we're in upper mode now. Oh, just rolling with the hits. Rolling with the punches. Dead. What's it at? The damage. Nothing. This is a really good layer, actually. It hits hard and a lot. And it actually did damage to the banana. I keep calling it the banana. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to get Garuda. The Garuda. Garuda. That sound that it makes. 
That sounded like Matrix right there. When Neo gets engulfed in like the mirrors and material or whatever the crap that was all about. He becomes one with the mirror. That's what it sounded like. So that was the survivor finished. Wow. Garuda is just tanking this. We're getting hit. It's just like being a tank. And taking the hits. So we're going to switch back to smash mode. I think is what it was. I can hear the terrarium <laughs> overworld daytime music in the background. I don't think you can hear it though. Oh, those big hits! Big hits! Come on, knock it out! 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 Come on, knock the miss! We got this! Colossus Hammer! No! It didn't work. And Garuda got another point. Slayer is actually decent against Garuda. Garuda, not Garudo. This is Legend of Zelda. What are you thinking? Oh, the kick off the wall! This is going wild in the bottom of this thing. Come on, maybe we can outlast it. Probably not. But you never know. Nope. That is a fit. Another point to Garuda, and that makes five points. Again, Garuda is just OP. Oh my gosh. This Beyblade, though. So awesome. I'm going to switch it to upper mode. Or whichever mode it was that lifts your opponent up. That's a pretty good mode. Not that either of them are really bad. Or anything. They're both kind of good. Yeah, this Beyblade is just kind of good all around. Dang. I suppose that's what's messing up our stickers, huh? Alright, well, that was our, our unbox- or my unboxing and testing of the, uh, Switch Strike Battle- or the Battle Tower set. I'm not using these launchers for anything, so maybe I'll do something with that. Maybe I'll mod this thing- mod these launchers onto something, I don't know. But- Anyway, you guys get wither out. Or human wither out. See you awesome people later.